Welcome everyone. Today we're making an Indian sweet called Gulab Jamun. The things you'll need are some bowls and pans and some utensils. For the dough, you need 18 tablespoons of milk powder, seven tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of rava, two pinches of baking soda, two teaspoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of ghee, and lastly, 10 tablespoons of milk. And all of this creates 16. Gulab Jamun. For the syrup, you'll need one and a half cups of sugar, one and a half cups of water, three cardamom pieces, we powdered them, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. First in a pan, you're gonna add one and a half cups of sugar and one and a half cups of water, and you're gonna stir that on medium heat. For four minutes or until it melts. After your mixture turns into syrup into a syrup, add your cardamom powder. And mix that for around 10 seconds. And then you're gonna add your lemon juice. Make sure to add this after you mix your cardamom powder for 10 seconds or else it will crystallize. Then you're going to take it off the heat and close it. The next step is to make the gulab jamun mixture. So in the bowl, you have to add all the rest of your ingredients except for the milk. So this is the flour. Then you add your milk powder. Rava. baking soda, lemon juice, ghee, and mix it well. After you're done mixing all your ingredients together, you have to add the milk a little at a time and knead it with your hands. Make sure it turns into a dough. Now it's time to mold your gulab jamun mixture and fry them. And if you'd like, you can add some ghee to make it shiny. Make sure there's no cracks in them. So you don't want this because you can see there's some cracks. Now that you're done rolling out your gulab jamun mixture, this is how they should look. Some of them are still in the process of making, so now we're gonna fry these. Make sure to separate them. Now one batch of your gulab jamuns are fried. You can dip them in the sugar and let them set for at least two to three hours. Before you do that, you have to pat them dry. And if you'd like, you can leave your gulab jamuns in the oil for a little longer to make them a bit crispier. And now you put them into your mixture, sugar mixture. And let them soak to two to three hours. And if you'd like, you can close the lid. Then your gulab diamonds will be ready. 
So this is our finished galab jamun. This is what it looks like in the inside, nice and moist and yellow. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Goodbye.